Hello, good afternoon. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com. Be sure to visit www.cfds.com for your trading needs, specialist in spread betting and CFD brokerage, and uh, be sure to qualify for that healthy 25% cash bonus offer. Alternatively, you can visit the educational site www.cfds.education to certainly learn more from my charts and analysis that I posted throughout the day. Okay, now let's see exactly where we stand in terms of uh, the uh, European markets and the closing. Currently, uh, 16.45, 4.45 p.m. Okay, so the uh, US, FTSE itself, or the FTSE 100, certainly closed positive, uh, led by wage growth, stronger wage growth, and uh, the uh, unemployment benefit uh, claims certainly dropping to uh, as low as 19 since, well, lowest since 1975. The budget itself certainly um, was uh, was really the only obstacle, and the uncertainty, as soon as the budget uh, uh, results came out, a report came out, the market, uh, the FTSE 100, certainly rallied quite substantially, so... It's interesting how the market reacted there on the FTSE itself, or the FTSE was also led higher by oil as well. So whether or not it was an oil rally or whether or not it was a budget-led rally is yet still uh, needs to be um, understood. From my perspective, it was more of an oil-led rally as opposed to a budget-led rally because the budget in and of itself was actually, uh, uh, was, from my perspective, given, especially given the fact that uh, inflation and growth forecasts were downgraded, there was nothing positive uh, in terms of uh, growth there at all. Uh, so uh, really it was the fact that uh, you had stronger wage growth throughout the day, during the day. That certainly helped the FTSE to a large extent, but it was mainly due to oil. That's why we had this uh, prolific rally. Okay, now let's try and uh, understand and decipher exactly which way this market is going to go. Now the uh, FTSE itself finished positive, and that was mainly the reason why. Even though we had the Nikkei down overnight, we had the uh, Hang Seng down overnight as well. The Shanghai just about finished positive along with the uh, S Australian index as well. Okay, so main catalyst here with oil going up to uh, $38, although it's pulling back below 38 now. Right, uh, that was the situation in regards to the FTSE, the German DAX, then the CAC. The DAX finished positive even though we had the uh, lawsuit was versus Volkswagen. Uh, we also had Hickma profits down. Uh, Volkswagen concerns still lingering uh, to a large extent. Deutsche Bank tumbling as well. As it states that the, uh, the, the it will not be profitable this year, uh, UK GDP forecast dropped. Osborne, nothing really in terms of the uh, European markets, other than the fact that we had uh, European construction data certainly come out better than expected. That was really the only positive out of Europe today, so that certainly helped the uh, European indices to a large extent. But other than that, there was nothing really positive. Yes, you can state that the Euro USD certainly has fallen, and that's uh, helped or uh, stimulated the. Uh, the European markets, I mean, you can see the Euro USD hit a pivot low of uh, 1.1060 here. And you could certainly argue, yes, that certainly stimulated the markets to a large extent. So, again, arguments can be made on, on either side. Uh, okay, Euro USD certainly is collapsing at the moment. And again, that should uh, act as a stimulatory measure for the, uh, the European indices. So, certainly an argument there. Okay, now I did say that if the Euro USD were to break, I mean, if I just bring up a chart, the Euro USD. You can see that we're touching that 100 MA now, previous support equals resistance, we bounced off there. If we break below that, then your next level is going to be previous support equals, res or previous resistance equals support, or 1.103. So all eyes on that 1.103 level, and we'll see whether or not the market can break through that. So should be interesting going forward, nevertheless. Okay, so that's basically where we stand on the Euro USD, and that in and of itself, given the fact that we broke that uh, long-standing 1.1080 zone, that certainly did help the uh, indices to a large extent. Now, having said helping indices, the euro stock certainly hasn't been very positive, and nor has the French CAC. It was just the German DAX that was certainly stellar of uh, all the uh, indices. So, interesting insight. Interesting insight there, okay? Now, let's bring up the actual uh, technical perspective, and let's see exactly where we stand. Now, we have a H&S formation on the uh, euro stocks. We did actually break below the neckline, but we, we've managed to recapture it now. And the euro stocks has been very weak, and that's not exactly a good sign, folks, okay, going forward. Especially given the fact that the euro stocks in the daily chart has held that good topping tail, previous support equals resistance, as you can clearly see here. And you are looking for a potential pullback on the euro stock. So that's generally signaling or to explain to you that the uh, FOMC, the outcome uh, post-FOMC, will be bearish, okay? That's how I'm reading things at this current juncture, okay? Uh, the 60-minute chart on the euro stocks again. If you this is a key zone here at 5043, 
30, 30, is a key zone. If you break through there, then obviously you have the unfilled gap that needs to close at 2980, and that will be the zone to watch. Okay. In terms of uh, Europe 350, you can clearly see that that resistance is certainly holding. Unless the dollar is exceptionally strong and sends the uh, the Euro USD down quite sharply, it's uh, going to be very hard for the um, uh, indices to rally from my perspective. Okay, let's go to the German DAX now. German DAX certainly in the, in the uh, daily chart perspective, you can see that we're still lingering at that gap level. Okay, 60 minute chart on the German DAX. We've held double top, you have an unfilled gap below. So we certainly need to close that. So watch out for that potential gap below, okay? Daily chart, you can clearly see that we are obviously are holding resistance. 10 minute chart, certainly exhausted. We did actually go below and uh, close that uh, pivot, the, pivot, the uh, gap fill below. So that was interesting uh, in terms of price action. And obviously if you do come back and retest it, you have that gap fill at 9.830. That may well close today, especially given the fact that we haven't made a higher high. Okay, so certainly food for thought there in terms of uh, market uh, price action, okay? That's basically where we stand with regards to that, okay? Now, let's just cross-reference that with the MDAX. The MDAX is still into that 200 MA, still holding as a resistance, so near no real uh, thrust higher. And the tech all shares certainly languishing at gap fill resistance, so again, no real reason for, for it to propel higher. So the German DAX certainly is um, at, uh, at a crossroads, okay? That's probably the best way of explaining it. Now, the French CAC, let's move on to the French CAC. Daily chart, you can see that topping tail certainly has held. Uh, so all eyes on the euro usd in which way that uh, obviously trades in order for the next potential direction in this market looking at a 60 minute chart of the french CAC again lower lo lower lows uh so we say lower high uh, although it did slightly put in a lower low today and again you have that unfilled gap below that certainly will be targeted post fomc so any bearish reaction you are looking at quite a substantial drop on the french CAC. okay 10 minute chart 10 minute chart classical hns formation We've obviously closed that gap above and the market failed to push any higher. So certainly uh, you can blatantly see weakness here with regards to the European markets. OK, right. Uh, in terms of the FTSE 100, uh, you can see that uh, the FTSE was certainly supported by one stronger oil price. Now let's see exactly where the price of oil is before we move uh, on and look at the FTSE properly. Now, I did explain to you yesterday that you do have this inverted head and shoulders formation. Now, that inverted head and shoulders formation has played out to a large extent. Given the fact that we had the uh, pivot low at 36 and the neckline at 37, and obviously we've seen a pivot higher 38.1. So the oil price certainly has played out with regards to the IHS formation. Obviously, you've got talk of this, uh, uh, even though the Iranians are not on board, they still want to uh, go ahead and uh, potentially uh, uh, freeze production. And obviously, they do have the Iranians, well, certainly convince the Iranians to come along at least. Uh, and certainly uh, in, not in terms of uh, obviously uh, production freeze given the fact that they've just come out of their sanctions and they want to pump as much oil as they can now the 10 minute chart on the uh, your oil itself certainly is looking slightly exhausted no cons uh, no real convincing high high and given the fact that the ihs formation is complete as well uh, and given the fact that the dollar index is is certainly looking very bullish it's going to be very hard for the price of oil to certainly stage any real uh, rebound okay uh, also, given the fact that uh, the economic data out of the US today, um, even though the uh, data out of the UK and EU was slightly stronger, the uh, economic data out of the US mixed to a large extent. Building permits actually down weaker than expected. Housing starts actually uh, better than expected. Uh, consumer CPI, higher inflation data, certainly obviously that uh, starts to raise concerns and fear with a potential uh, a rate, um, uh, rate rise. So again, that certainly is uh, a mixed bag. I mean, it, it, again, it, it can be simulatory in the sense that USD JPY goes higher and the euro obviously moves lower. But you, as you can clearly see today, the, the markets are European equities have become immune to the euro because the euro has fallen and yet the European markets haven't, haven't rallied at all. So again, that certainly is something to consider. Industrial production actually came out weaker than expected. Capacity utilization weaker than expected. CB leading economic index out of the UK came in weaker than expected. Uh, crude oil stocks or the actual uh, potential inventories came out weaker and then obviously that support the uh, the uh, in terms of supply side of the equation that certainly sent the oil price higher uh, again all eyes will be on the fomc now so again it's going to be interesting uh, in terms of uh, how the fomc reacts in terms of oil being held by fundamentals yes it was held by fundamentals from the eu and the uk to a large extent but the uh, us markets 
Not as much. If you have stronger inflation and yet weaker economic data, that certainly isn't a good sign. So again, certainly take that into consideration as well, okay? Especially, like I said, industrial production coming weaker than expected. Uh, Canada manufacturing actually came out better, though. Uh, so that's certainly, uh, certainly something to contemplate. So all eyes now on the uh, monetary um, FOMC projections. Okay, all eyes on the FOMC projections. Uh, interest rate decision. Everybody is expecting a hawkish... Uh, read and therefore you are looking for a risk aversion trade okay so that certainly is the uh, all eyes on that potential market itself okay now let's just cross reference the uh, FTSE now that we looked at the price of uh, the euro let's just quickly look at the chart of the bund okay that's, again that's going to be quite important in terms of uh, ascertaining as to which way we're going next in terms of this market bear with me here we go so the bund certainly is coming into support Okay, so the bond, as you can see here, certainly coming into support, and this is going to be risk off for global equities, especially European equities, given the fact that whenever the bond starts to fall, the yields uh, do a ra rally to a lot. Well, sorry, it's going to be risk on for equities, so that certainly is something to consider. Now, bear with me one second. Okay, so yes, going back over to the German bonds. Okay, so the German bonds are actually into potential support, so it means that the uh, the bonds will rally. The uh, the actual uh, euro USD itself will now come into resistance and that should potentially be bullish for equity so that certainly is something to uh, to consider going forward okay in terms of the actual market reaction okay now in terms of the um, the actual um, uh, euro euro usd itself the bond certainly can hold support here okay if i go over to the uh, 60 minute chart the bonds can actually start to hold potential support here then this will bode well okay this will bode well for the uh, the actual markets themselves or global markets because you are looking at the euro usd potentially going lower now having said that if we look at the actual bond market as well if you we look at the us bond market bear with me if you can bring that up as well okay i don't have the charts here let's just look at the dollar side of the equation so the dollar certainly has bounced to a large extent now whether that that bounce is sustained will all be uh, dependent upon uh, the fomc so uh, again all eyes on the fomc decision the dollar is uh, certainly coming into potential resistance there on the 60 minute chart the four hours certainly uh, coming into resistance there although it can have legs and certainly push higher so all eyes on the uh, the dollar dollar chart and we'll see uh, we'll see, we shall soon see how that reacts okay so all eyes on the dollar index itself okay now in terms of um, the FTSE 100 now now that we've seen oil oil is potentially into resistance 60 minute chart of FTSE as we all know has resistance at the 6180 zone so all eyes on the uh, 6180 zone for the FTSE 100 and we shall see exactly how the FOMC reacts now given the fact that inflation certainly peaked up in the US today that obviously uh, it does indicate a stronger dollar and therefore that's bearish for the FTSE itself so from my perspective the 6180 zone will be a shorting opportunity although I was stopped out at 6177 if i get the opportunity to short the footsie anywhere on the 6180 619 even the 6200 i will certainly take advantage of that possibility okay i think that's a market wrap be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and uh, wish you the best for the fomc goodbye